What's up YouTube, BMR here, and today we're gonna talk about auto scale compatibility. Now, I don't have time to go in depth on every single body out there, but my goal today is to give you guys the tools to be able to go out and research auto scale bodies and be able to look it up and figure out whether or not it'll be compatible with your chassis, and if not, what parts you need to swap out to make it compatible with your chassis. The first thing I wanna cover is some of the things that you'll see in the descriptions. So for example, if you're shopping for this RX-7 and you see in the description that it says it was for the MR-03, don't worry about that if you see it, it will still fit the MA-020. They just say that because it was initially produced for the MR-03 and it was sold as a ready to run kit. So if you see that on there, don't worry about that. You can pretty much disregard it. The other thing that you might see in the descriptions is that the car is marked either N or W, which stands for narrow or wide. So for example, this is a narrow front end. All MA020s come with narrow front ends pre-installed on them. So if you buy an auto scale that's a wide front end and you wanna use it on an MA020, just know that you're gonna have to swap out the parts in the front end. So you're gonna need to change the swing arms to the long ones, as well as your differential front and lower plates. All that's the only thing that you need to do to switch it over. It's very simple, but you just need to be aware that the end stands for a narrow front end and this over here is a wide front end and it's literally just a few millimeters wider and there's just a couple parts that you need to swap out. It's the same thing for the MR03s. Normally they come with a narrow configuration. Sometimes they come with a wide body. It just depends on the auto scale that they're sold with. The next thing that I wanna cover is wheelbases because I see this as a big point of confusion for a lot of people out there and I've been receiving a lot of questions on my channel regarding wheelbases and that's what prompted me to make this video. So right off the bat guys, we have five subsections of wheelbases. Starting out at the lowest end, you have 86 millimeters, 90 millimeters, 94 millimeters, 98 millimeters, and then all the way out to 102 millimeters. So you have five different subsections and it can get really confusing really quick trying to figure out what fits. Let's start at the shortest end of the spectrum with the 86 millimeter wheelbase. And honestly, guys, there's only a handful of bodies that were produced for this. So it's a very small percentage of the market. But to run the 86 millimeter wheelbase, you have to use a MR03 with the rear motor mount configured on it. That's the only thing that'll fit. And like I said, guys, there's not a whole lot of those ones out there. So moving up, we have the 90 millimeter wheelbase, which is my favorite for drifting. And that's what my S13s are configured in. Also, this RX-7 and this Ferrari over here are all 90 millimeter wheel basis. So what if you have this S13 and you want to run the RX-7 on it, or you want to run this Ferrari on it? Well, since they're all 90 millimeter wheelbases, the only thing that you'll need to swap out is this front clip. So if I wanted to go from this S13 to this Ferrari over here, I just need to install the Ferrari's front clip up front and then it'll fit right away. Moving up, we have 94 millimeters, which is what my Skylines are configured in. And also my two Ferraris over here. But anyways, if I wanted to go from running my MA020 in 90 millimeters all the way up to 94 millimeters, to swap that out, guys, you're gonna have to remount your motor back here. So what you do is you just unscrew these right here and this will slide back a little bit and you'll see new screw mounting holes. So on the top and the bottom, you just have to remove the screws, slide this back and reposition it. And then your chassis will go from being 90 millimeters to 94 millimeters. And then again, you'll just need to swap out your front clips. So if that doesn't make sense, guys, ask me down in the comments below and I'll go over it again with you. For the MR03s over here, if we wanna convert our wheelbase from 90 to 94 millimeters, assuming that we have the correct motor mounts installed, all you need to do is adjust your T-plate. So all you need to do is either unscrew it and slide it out of position or install a new longer T-plate on your car. Another thing that you're gonna to need to also be mindful of is your shock in here, that you're gonna to need to adjust the parts that mount your shock. So if you're changing it for a longer wheelbase, you'll need a slightly different shock mount, and you just need to adjust your T-plate accordingly, assuming that you have the correct motor mounts installed. So for the MA020, say we wanna go from 94 to 98 millimeters. Now for this rear end, we're gonna to have to take and swap this out because this rear end that comes with it stock only goes from 90 to 94 millimeters. To go from 94 millimeters to 98 millimeters, we're gonna to need to get a whole new rear end. It's sold separately, but it's the exact same thing. The only difference is these part right here. It's a little tiny bit longer, so it can adjust to the 98 millimeters. Another thing that you're gonna to need to be mindful of is your spur gear in here. So your pinion stays the same, but you're gonna to need to change your spur gears when you link 
within your wheelbase. You also need to change the spur gear so that your differential can still mesh with the spur gear. So it's, again, guys, if it's getting complicated and you're getting confused, just ask me questions down below in the comments and we can address it. Moving over here, we have the Big Daddy sitting at 102 millimeters. And to run this style body, you're gonna have to have 102 millimeter wheelbase running the low motor mount configuration for an MR03. If you wanna run 102 millimeters on a MA020, you can, but you have to get a super, super rare extension kit. So like I said, you need to get an extension kit for running 98 millimeters. You have to also get an extension kit for the 102 millimeters. And unfortunately the company MS Racing that produced that part is long out of business. So it's extremely rare. So basically if you wanna run 102 millimeters on uh, all wheel drive, you're SOL. One last thing to keep in mind when you're choosing the auto scale you want to use, if you have an MR03, you need to be careful with your shock back here. So you have a shock mount in this back of your car, and depending on the roof line of your body that you choose, the MM2 motor mount not, might not be compatible with it. So you might have to go from an MM2 to the rear motor mount because of the roof line of the car. So that's another thing to consider is your shock height. And that's something that you're gonna have to use only if you're running an MR03. The final thing I wanna talk about is lights because sometimes you'll see some mini Zs with lights in them and some don't. So when you buy auto scales in the cases like this, they won't come with lights. But sometimes if you buy a ready to run kit and it's marked that it has lights, it'll come with lights pre-installed in it. So for example, this Nissan over here, this came as a ready to run kit and it has lights installed in it from Kyosho. However, all these other auto scales over here, they don't have lights on it. But if you wanna run lights, Kyosho makes it super, super simple to run lights. All you have to do is pull out these light buckets and install the proper ones. And then you can run wires through here and you can light it all up. But like I said, guys, you're gonna have wires all running through here. So that's something that you're gonna have to be mindful of because sometimes it can make it really difficult to fit your auto scale back on the chassis if you don't police your wires really nicely. I almost forgot, but real quick, let's talk about white bodies real quick, because these are something that you'll see, and this is a white body of these S13s over here. So basically this is a kit from Kyosho, and it comes with all the parts in it to put it together and make it look like this. Like it'll come with tinted windows, it'll come with your side view mirrors, your body kits if it has a body kit on it, anything like that. So you're gonna have to paint it up, but basically if you're looking into getting a white body, it's gonna be all the exact same measurements, all the exact same profiles, motor mounts, wheel bases, all that's going to be the exact same from an auto scale to a white body. It's just, you have the option of painting this up. You know, if you want to make this thing look crazy with some psychedelic colors, you can do something like that. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I think we hit all the main points being the wheel bases, our motor mounts, our roof lines. So basically your shock towers. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're finding any of the videos on my channel informative and entertaining, please smash that subscribe button and Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time.